Hello my friends, happy Monday. It's a beautiful Monday in San Francisco. It's like 75 degrees out, sunny, not a single cloud in the sky. And I'm so excited because I'm gonna go on such a long hot girl walk right now. I'm gonna go on my favorite route. I have plenty of favorite walking paths slash routes here. And you might think I'm crazy, but I think that San Francisco is one of the best walking cities in the world, especially given that every street is like a 90 degree incline. Yes, amazing, 12, 3, 30, basically free workout, but there's a ton of just like flat walking paths as well that I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna do one of them a little hilly, but it's a beautiful route and I'm so excited. I have a very exciting week ahead. I have a meetup happening tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. And actually that's pretty much it. So excited to take you guys along this week. Finally, like some excitement is happening. Spring is happening. Actually, oh my God, we have so many plans this week. Very fun vlog ahead. And yeah, we're kicking it off with a beautiful solo hot girl walk. Got my AirPods ready to go and I am going to zone out and just enjoy the sunshine. I can't wait, come along. I'm so obsessed with this little mini water bottle. I'll link it because it fits perfectly in my little Uniqlo bag that they now sell everywhere, but it was literally the best purchase I made last year. This one fits perfectly in here for your hot girl walks. I swear I've cracked the code there. I'm so excited because I'm about to head to an event that I'm throwing at Causebells, which is a restaurant in my neighborhood. It was one of my first San Francisco viral videos for better or for worse. It got a lot of hate because basically anytime I post about San Francisco, it gets hate because for some reason people really hate it here. I mean, yes, there's a lot of downsides, but I love it as you can see from my content. So yeah, I posted about how I'm so obsessed with their burger and it went very viral and it actually was the place that we decided that we were gonna be moving to San Francisco at. Me and Joe came for like a very quick weekend when he got a job offer out here and everyone told us to go to Coswell's and we went and we took a bite of that burger and we were like, oh my God. Yeah, we gotta move here. <laughs> so it's kind of dramatic and dramatized, but like also like really, really amazing burger. So I posted a video about it and it went viral and I've become friends with the owner and bartender ever since. And we're throwing a little launch party for their Girl Scout cookie menu. And I'm inviting a bunch of followers to come get a free drink, hang out with me. We're doing it from five to seven today. So I'll get footage of it. And I'm so excited. I love any time I get to like hang out with people that follow me in person or like when they come and say hi, it just makes it a lot easier to know who's watching my stuff. It's way more fun that way. And I love meeting new people, so it makes me really happy. And yeah, I hope I make a ton of new friends today and that they make new friends today and that we all enjoy the San Francisco sunshine. It is so beautiful out today. It has been such amazing weather this week and it could not be a better day for the event. So it's all happening outside. So we kind of needed that to happen, but I'm so excited. I have a cute outfit from Rent the Runway. So I'll show that in a second. Okay, this is the fit. I can't decide if I like it. It's from Rent the Runway and it is definitely way too big. So I cinched it with this belt. I also can't decide if I like the sleeves rolled up or down. If it's ugly, don't tell me because it will be too late and I've already worn it. My friends say they like it, so we're going with it. We have so much to catch up on. So the last thing that you probably saw was footage from my Coswells event, which went amazing. So many amazing girls showed up. We were like networking, chatting, just becoming friends with each other. And it was so nice to just connect with new people. And some of my friends came and for them to introduce each other. And it was just the best event ever. And I'm so grateful to Coswells for doing it with me. Yesterday I was 
pretty exhausted and didn't film any content and barely did anything. Actually, what did I even do yesterday? Oh, I went to like Pilates. I think that's about it. Yeah, and then I have been working a lot lately and I'm very stressed. I'm starting to have like chest pains from stress from work, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's something that I'm dealing with right now. It's crazy how you can go from the highest of highs, like my Coswell's event where I was just feeling on top of the world to being so stressed and feeling like you have no idea what you're doing with your life within 12 hours. So that is reality. I booked a 4 p.m. yoga class today to try to calm my nervous system. I barely spend any of my day not on my phone or computer or anything. And I love the opportunity to just go to a room where it's highly encouraged not to bring your phone and yeah, disconnect from society. So that's my goal and to connect with my breath. Tomorrow we are going to the Giants game. So I'm very excited for that. We were supposed to get a massage today, but then Joe had other plans. So we're pushing that to next week, which is fine because next week is his birthday week. Saturday, we're having a best day ever, which is where we just do all the things that we have been wanting to do. So we're going to a new restaurant and we'll probably go golfing and we'll get the donuts that we love and ice and coffee and whatever else we decide to do that day. Um, I had a few videos go viral about it. So I'm really excited to document it and bring them back because we finally have a weekend not skiing. Something that I'm currently dealing with is that I have just the worst eating patterns when I'm so busy with work. Honestly, all the time, just working from home, I always envisioned when I was in office every day that if I worked from home, I would be the healthiest version of myself. I'd have like smoothies every day and salads and stuff like that. And the reality is that I eat toast for almost every single meal. I basically only eat carbs and I'm starting to feel very lethargic about it. Puffy, not great, all of the things. And I feel like I get sicker a lot easier than I used to when I was eating well-balanced meals. So it's something I'm just trying to be more conscious of. And maybe I start like meal prepping or planning out my meals a little bit better. I usually order in almost every single night, which is just such a bad habit. I'm so not used to it. And it just is not making me feel like my best self. So trying to figure out a strategy there. It was raining all morning and it's finally sunny. So I need to get outside and I need to get to yoga. Bye. Guess what today is? Where are we going, Joe? Giants opening day. Giants opening day, fit check. Tahoe, you are coming with me. Neither of us are from San Francisco, <laughs> but we really love Giants games, Slay. This is literally one of our favorite activities to do. Bib name New year. Jersey. No idea. Are you kidding me? Couldn't tell you. Tim wants to come, picture. Okay, I'm so excited. now Saturday and we're heading out to lunch in Tiburon which is the cutest little town we're going to Malibu Farms which I absolutely love we went to the one in San Diego in September or October and loved it so I'm super excited to try that there and like walk around the little town yesterday was so fun the Giants won the game that we went to in the ninth inning it was amazing and it was just like a really fun night. Then we went to our local bar, the bus stop, saw some friends and then passed out. I'm a little hungover and we have a very busy day ahead of us. I think we're gonna try to play pickleball and go to a friend's birthday party and do all the things that we love to do. I'm trying to like keep the energy high, but I got my little strawberry sweater on, which always makes me feel so fun and my little fun glasses. So I'm very excited for that. <laughs> cuties today is sunday and i am exhausted <laughs> you didn't miss much after yesterday we thought we were gonna have what we call a best day ever and we didn't i think we learned the hard way that putting too much pressure on one day like makes it lose its sparkle and we just weren't like aligning we tried to like play pickleball and the pickleball courts were super slammed and i was 
a little hungover from the night before and it was just like a lot of factors. So we ended up just like crashing at like nine o'clock and I got an amazing night's sleep. And then this morning I woke up did some work, um, went to the Renegade Fair, which is this amazing craft market that they do every year. Last year I went with my sister when she was in town, I got so many things. So I went today with my friend and bought these actually, this beautiful print. Bought these two prints. I'm so obsessed with them. I thought they would match perfectly in here, but they're just not, I don't know, I'll show you. Okay, so I really wanted to hang them like above the guest bed. We have this like peel and stick wallpaper um, it's like not, it's just like little stickers that I hung up, but I was thinking it would look really cute if I took those down and hung these in frames. And I have this reversed because it looks like this and that was just too conflicting, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm vibing with it. Comment below if you think it looks good. I feel like the one on the left looks really good and I got the one on the right because I thought it complemented the one on the left, but this one doesn't look as good in the room as this one. So that is the journey that I'm currently on. So yeah, that's what I'm currently dealing with. Finished up my taxes, filmed a hunger root video, still have three more to film this week. So I'm a little stressed about that, but it's okay. We'll find time. I think I'm going to sign off this vlog now. It was a pretty quick week in the life, but lots of activities. If you ever want more content, just go to my TikToks and Instagram. I post on there pretty much every day on both of those channels. So you'll get a ton more content there and I can't wait for the next vlog. Bye.